We're going to talk about fire ground use. Fundamentals first, though. You go and size up a structure, your thermal imaging camera does not replace fundamentals as far as building construction, fire behavior, you getting out, learning your streets, uh, pre-planning, all the things that we should normally do, period. Okay? Uh, understand this. Like I said earlier, your camera is not x-ray vision. It does not see through walls, but you may see things known as thermal bridging, which I'll teach you about, which allows basically is conduction, gives you an idea of where the fire might be, fire's location, severity. Um, you want a good example of not paying attention to that? Go on YouTube and type in the South Metro Fire Rescue Authority Close Call or Cornerstone Fire. It's a basement fire. It's a really good example of that. All right, so why should you do a 360? You show up today at a house fire. If I don't do a 360, am I going to miss some critical information? Absolutely. This is a mill style house, uh, 1920s we burned in Almoral. Has a two and a half foot crawl space in the front and about a nine and a half foot basement in the back. Big difference, right? I mean, that's look at that deck and how tall it is on, that, on the seaside. Uh, William Moore is a retired captain from San Antonio, Texas, wrote a book on preventing firefighter disorientation. And someone asked the question, why would a seasoned veteran fire officer not do a 360 when they always do it? Well, there's always an exception. And in this case, you show up and there's a mom in the front yard grabbing you by the throat, screaming, my baby's in there, my baby's in there, my baby's in there. Don't you, don't you dare. Just go get them, go get them. They're right there. And they're in the AB corner. She's going to say front bedroom, right? And what happens when I run in that front bedroom and she forgot to tell me it was a basement fire and I fall through the floor, right? So we have to be ready for that and understand that sometimes our senses or our emotions can overwhelm us. We got to look at the big picture. And that's what happened right here. Uh, this was a line of duty death. This is from the NIOSH report. This is a legacy style house. The homeowner standing in the front yard told the first two officer, I have a fire in my basement. You can look at the house and if you pay real close attention, you can see a drop off on the right hand side. The house is built into the grade. So they know it's a basement fire. They do not do a 360. Where do you think they stretch the hose? Through the front door. And they ended up in the basement and two firefighters died. It was a gas fed fire. The utilities were not controlled. It burned through legacy two by eights in the floor and killed two firefighters. Just because we didn't take seconds to save minutes, as my mentor Chief Mitchum says, and do this. This is called a tactical 360, which is you should already be doing a size up and a walk around if possible. What we're asking you to do is add the camera and the thermal data to that so you can do a better job of locating the victim and locating the fire, extinguishing the fire faster, and doing the things we swore to do, which is saving lives and property. This helps us find those things where the victim may be, where the fire might be, and stop the loss, stop the harm. So when I look at a building that's on fire, such as this single wide trailer here that my buddy Sean did, that you can see flame coming out of the sides of it, but if you look at it through the K65, you know, a single wide or mobile home is much different than a standard home in the way it's insulated. Look at the amount of heat showing through that wall. I mean, I know I got a ton of fire. If I got 1,200 degrees on the outside of the building, what do you think you got on the inside? So there's a big difference between smoke showing versus heat showing. And I told you earlier, one of the repeated phrases we hear is they're having trouble finding the fire. Well, another problem is stretching the line to the wrong place and realizing there's no fire in this room and we've got to reposition the line and the fire gets another head start on us. Here's what I want you to know from the real world perspective. If you pay a building inspector to come in to inspect your home, they offer services now called thermal building inspections. And they take a thermal imaging camera and they look for the following things. Bad windows, plumbing leaks, insulation voids, rats, and uh, bug infestations. I've got pictures of bees in the wall, through the wall that's showing a heat signature, roof leaks, moisture infiltration, air infiltration, defects in construction such as insulation voids, and electrical problems. Now, if they can see all of that when the house isn't on fire, don't you think we can see more when the house is on fire? Watch these guys when they pull up. They just took taking a friend of mine's modern fire behavior class and understanding that they should read smoke and look at it with a tick. You think that they, uh, they learned a lot by looking at this garage real quick before they decide to step up in there. He's already done his 360 and looked in here. 
Watch the conditions change on this. I'll say they're surprised, even though they knew something was coming. Poof! That's the max firebox on steroids right there. Okay? That's when we would read more than just the smoke. We would read the heat and say, wow, that is a lot hotter than I realized. We need to fix that before we stick our head in there. So let's just say you said this morning you went on a mutual aid fire. And I know this doesn't ever happen in the real world, so just bear with me. You go on this mutual aid fire, and the first due company has given the, the assignment that they have stretched the line to the interior and the next due company to take command. That They have done the old pass the baton. They don't want it. So you're walking up with your tick, and you see this hip roof 1940s house. This is what you see. Tell me if you see any problems here as you approach the porch and look inside the house. What's open? Front door. What's not open? A nozzle. They're over to the right when the fire is to the left. Is that a problem? Yeah. What could have prevented that? Looking both ways before you cross the street. A simple look, 360, and saying, this is our game plan. This is our recon. This is where we're going.